Hi everybody, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me for the next leg of this country music journey. Now this video uh, has not been generated by the randomizer. It has been handpicked. Um, when I was reading through all of your comments, I noticed this. And reading it, I just thought to myself, it has to be done. It absolutely has to be done. Uh, October, this month that we're in now, I know we're coming to the end of it, but Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but breast cancer and any cancer doesn't just end when it's Awareness Month finishes, it continues. So I'm going to check this out. I'm looking forward to this video a little bit because the last time we checked out Martina McBride, which was with Concrete Angel, it was the most soul-destroying and the hardest music video and song I think I've ever had to sit through. And there's a part of me that thinks this one's this one's just going to be equally as hard. So, but if it helps raise breast cancer awareness, then I am more than willing to put myself through this. So, I'm excited to check this out. I'm going to leave quite a few links uh, to breast cancer awareness websites in the description just guys just guys and girls because it does affect the men as well just check yourself out if it helps save one life it's got to be worth it and spread the word yourselves as well talk to people get them to check themselves out there's plenty of guidance in all of these websites below so give them a little read don't be afraid don't be embarrassed prolong your lives the best you can, not just for yourselves, for your families as well. So I'm going to check this out now. So let's go. I was diagnosed in May of 2006. April 15th, tax day. That when you're diagnosed with cancer, everybody around you is diagnosed as well. At that point, you realize just how much someone means to you. All I wanted to do was to live to raise my children. She dropped the phone and burst in. I'm going to start this one again. Um, I wasn't ready for real life stories in this song. Um, I had a feeling, well, I think I knew this one was going to be hard, but... This is just taking it up a, a notch now. So um, I'm going to start this one again. And we're going to try and get through this in one go. Here we go. I was diagnosed in May of 2006. April 15th tax day that when you're diagnosed with cancer everybody around you is diagnosed as well at that point you realize just how much someone means to you all i wanted to do was to live to raise my children she dropped the phone and burst into tears the doctor just confirmed her fears her husband held it in and held her tight cancer don't discriminate Care if you're just 38 with three kids who need you in their lives. He said, I know that you're afraid, and I am too. But you'll never be alone, I promise you. When you're was so supportive. He just looked at me and said, you know what, it's going to be okay. And there was my dad sitting on the little bend. We've always just been this team. And he just said, I wanted to be with you. My sister moved in with me and like tripping over my niece and my sister. It was wonderful to know that I had a support system. They always loved on me. 
and never made me feel like a burden. She made it through the surgery fine. They said they caught it just in time. But they had to take more than they planned. And now it's four smiles and baggy shirts to hide what the cancer took from her. And she just wants to feel like a woman again. She said, I don't think I can do this anymore. He took her in his arms and said, that's what my love is for. When you're weak, I'll be strong. When you let go, I'll hold on. And when you need to cry, I swear that I'll be there to dry your eyes. When you feel lost and scared to death, like you can't take one more step. Just take my hand again and we can do it. I'm gonna love you through it. 17 years later, here we are. I'm lucky I have a family that is incredibly supportive. This was my safe haven. It was like, you know, God and angels right there with us. I appreciate all of my caretakers. It took so good, good, good care of me, and that was you, Daddy. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. You know people love you in your life, but you don't know how much until you get sick. My wonderful set of friends that would rally around me at any given moment. Just that people would give up their life and their time to stay with you. Somebody loved me through this, and I'm going to love somebody else through it. And that's what we have to do for one another. I'm going to love you through it. Okay, guys, there it was. Martina McBride, I'm going to love you through it. And it was, once again, with Martina McBride, an incredibly difficult song to get through. But it pales in comparison to the women in this video, to the countless um, sufferers of breast cancer and other forms of cancer around the world it just totally pales in comparison to the to the challenge that they're going through and it was an incredibly heartfelt song beautifully sung full of emotion gut-wrenching I wasn't expecting like I said at the start of the video um, real life stories to be part of the video but but they were and it just enhanced everything about the song. So like I said at the start of the song, in the description you'll find a lot of links to websites all about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you have a minute or two, check them out. R read, what's, read what's in there, spread the word. Um, I'm not saying this video will ever have the power to, to save anyone's life or to do anything like that but if it just makes one person check then then it's done its job so thank you for listening um i'm sure a lot of you are heavily affected by this song and get that in the comments let me know i'm sure it'll be one hell of an emotional roller coaster reading through them so until next time guys take care check yourselves and bye for now